Hello everybody, my name is Antsman and welcome to a brand new Let's Play in XCOM 2. We're just going to get started right away. Uh, we are going to be playing on, I guess this is basically classic, we'll, we'll have the tutorial on. Uh, we're just speaking, and eh, we'll show subheadles as well, we'll start the game. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior of time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Keeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity to your position. You were right. Definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. might be a little bit too loud. Advent forces are swarming to the blast point. We need to move on the package before they figure out what we're up to. Okay, so let's uh let's turn down the volume first here. First. You need to get out as of soon as this is done. Grab some cover near that low wall. Copy that. Moving up. Okay, so, uh, do, 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 add options, master volume, turn it down just slightly, we'll save our settings and we will continue on. Okay, so this is act the mouse is actually very, very sensitive, okay. So we'll send one troop over here, and I think we can order, uh, orders to more troops at the same time. You're not really that exposed. Okay, but now the game sounds a little bit too quiet. Let's try this. Looks like full cover ahead. Moving out. Okay. Now I, I kind of wish I didn't take the tutorial because this seems. Crasher two, stay close. Keep pace with Crasher one. Come on, Crasher two's not a great name. Double time. So I'm I'm excited to play this. Uh. They're holding scene. position. We're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. Shadows until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. 
So concealment. Most missions start with the with the squad and concealment. Use concealment to set up ambushes. If any soldiers are spotted, all your soldiers lose the benefits of concealment. So this is a, a new mechanic in XCOM 2. So basically, as long as we're not within their sight range, we will not be discovered. And they won't shoot at us. So that's good. Okay, for some reason my graphic settings are set to minimum, so we are going to- I'm going to have to change that before the end of the next video, I just wanted to- Because I noticed we didn't have any shadows, I wanted to see what was up with the graphic settings. So remove our troops, uh- Oh, okay, we exit the movement here. Because that's where the game says to go. Stay in low. So there's a handful of troops here. Don't there's get there's actually fun. a lot of them. And in this, this little area, we're not allowed to walk in this area or else we will just be spotted instantly. So, uh, they may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully, that's enough. I mean, I hope so. We're probably gonna be like through a grenade or a cutscene, just gonna kill them all. Remind me to thank the old man. Okay, I think the cutscenes might just be louder than the rest of the game. I'm not 100 too sure why. We need to take out those remaining soldiers. Do we have a grenade? Permission to engage. Do it. Press enter or that uh, on the action button. Activate it. Okay. So click fire weapon. I feel like if we had a grenade, that'd be a lot better. But uh, we'll just hit the guy with the highest chance. There we go, we got a kill. Our first kill of the game. And that should activate all these guys and now they'll run the cover and stuff. So it actually would have been smarter, assuming I probably wouldn't be allowed to do it, but if she was on Overwatch, this actually would have been better. I lose the concealment, your entire squad lose concealment when any soldier attacked by an enemy, breaking windows or kicking open doors, or soldiers flanked or steps on a detection tile. Okay. Those all make sense. I'll shoot first and celebrate later. No problem. That doesn't seem like a great spot, but I guess we're gonna go there. This won't get a flank on anybody. Dangerously close right now. Be careful. Unless no, if you just have a grenade either. So 63, 38. We'll take the 68 because that's basically our best chance. And this is a this is a piece of loot right here. There might be a little tooltip telling us about the loot. So I don't know if the AI can actually kill us in... Oh, okay, we're, we're gonna flank. Yeah, okay, the AI can kill us in the tutorial mission. Thanks a lot, Gain. That was a bad... I, I knew that was a bad spot to put her. She's gone. Damn it. You can't take risks like that. Watch your flank. You told me to do it. Okay. You can't tell me to do that and then have her die. But, okay. So go over here, we'll get a flank on this guy, we'll be able to kill him pretty easily. And well, 82% chance, I'm assuming... But yes, fire weapon. One... Fire weapon. There we go. I don't know why I wasn't shooting before. What's this guy going to do? What is his plan? Okay, well, you're pointing at a dead person. Are they closing in on you? She's calling reinforcements. Stop that. Transmission. That's a, that's a sweet gun, though. Central, reporting in. This guy's got a sweet gun. Right. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. So what is our mission? There's a mission to capture the guy that was giving the speech in the beginning. You have an advent 
transport closing on your position. I'll be getting the guy with a sweet gun. He's probably gonna die at the end of the mission. I'm gonna take I'm just gonna guess that. But still, he's got a pretty awesome gun. Oh, can I actually do what I want now? Oh wait, nope, we still gotta put a guy behind here. So yeah, you go behind the car. I mean that's a fine place from the B. Keep your eyes peeled. So yeah, we can put this guy on Overwatch. Soldier on Overwatch will shoot, yada yada yada. We all know how it works. Oh, so is this central? He's central. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be giving us orders for the rest of the game. So do they want us to move him back there? We yeah, okay. I wanna use this awesome gun. Will I never be able to use it in this mission? And what about you? Are we gonna get the loot? Yeah. We check that body for salvageable gear. We need anything we can get at this point. Soldiers automatically collect loot and drop the area when they're inside the yellow radius zone. Okay. I mean, I'd still be in the yellow radius, and that's actually a better spot for cover, but whatever. There we go, we got a scope. And the body just flew like 20 feet. Okay, well that's good. Okay, we'll let you go inside here. I have no. This is why he just flew like 20 feet. It was amazing. Here are the reinforcements. So apparently, we never stopped the call from going through. And the reinforcements are three guys, so it should be pretty easy. And the guy with the cape. Reinforcements just hit the ground. They're getting nervous. Now I know we're in the right place. Okay, so they're gonna move. Uh, our guys gonna Overwatch. Yes. Will they actually get a kill? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Wonderful. Admin Trooper was killed. Well, that's very, very good for us. Okay, so you want to move here. I kind of wish we had more control over the tutorial. I can understand why we don't. 49. I mean, we'll take the 50-50 shot. It, it didn't work, but... He's probably, he's dead too. He, he's going to die. Cutscene's going to happen, and he's going to get shot. I'm absolutely calling it. Okay, so you... You're probably going to open the door. You should be able to cut right through the door's security protocols. They oh, can you hack? Anyone to get this close. All soldiers can hack certain computers, lock doors, and other compartments when they're close enough. Okay. And this, I think, is like an RNG. It's just like a little slider. Okay, so we have a 100% chance to unlock the door, a 6% chance to get concealment, and a 2% chance gains immunity from attack. I mean, it's so unlikely you might as well just try it, right? Yeah, that wasn't... That wasn't even close. Okay. Hope I'll continue. Good. Let's go. So is the guy that's giving the speeches, is he inside of here? I'm assuming... I'm to secure the package. So I'm assuming that's the case. Let's hope our intel was good. This is the place. Are you sure? Yes. Looks like there's an access panel attached. If you got me a better look, I might be able to... Next time. Let's get out of here. Who's that guy? Soldier can carry unconscious dead or bleeding out units. Uh, this allows soldiers to retrieve a fallen comrade. Okay. So you will carry him. I still don't really know who he is or why we need him, but the entire you know we'll take him. Just lit up. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac, but it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. So I'm assuming this guy's gonna die, right? He's just standing there. He's not even behind the cover. Yeah, there he goes. He's dead. Now, not surprised in the slightest. No, Central. Crasher one is down. You have to get out of there. We need another exit now. Oh, that's not very far at all. 
I, I have a feeling we could probably make it there. Will you actually have any shots? You have 49% chance, so you might as well take it. Oh, no. Fine. Grenade. If you want to be boring about it. Uh, we'll do four and then four. Fire in the hole. Okay, so there's, there's, our, there's our escape route. Can this guy even walk far enough? Works for me. I'm assuming so because there's the, like the little icon here. But we can actually walk pretty pretty far even though he's got the guy on his back. Almost there. Stay focused. And that is going to be a successful mission. I'm assuming. Maybe. Unless she also dies. I mean, she does have a little. She doesn't have a little thing. I know she does have a thing next to her face. God damn it, Central! You never even got to use your awesome gun. I'm very disappointed by that. Firebrand, this is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. I know there's no like scripted text for him getting shot. So, was it entirely possible that that's actually was just a random chance? Press P. Okay. There is our evacuation zone. And we will evacuate. I'm, I'm trying to move. If you weren't giving me dialogue options, I would absolutely be on the move right now. Yes, move. Okay, that's the call Sky Ranger button. And then we can evacuate. And we'll get our ending cutscene for the first mission. Come on, that was that was an easy shot. <laughs> the hell was that thing? We have more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. The cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe. No plan B here, people. Do it. Response normal, vital stabilizing, procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. 
Still, can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You uh, feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. So he plays the Commander from XCOM 1? Was he the protagonist of the first game? I wasn't even, I wasn't even sure of that. But I guess that is going to end this first video. So thanks everybody for watching. My name's been Anthony. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, click on thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe. And uh, we'll play more XCOM next time. So goodbye.